today doing a quick video for a project I just did. Um, using a scrap piece of wood, I'm going to just throw together, or I did throw together a um, TV mount for a 32 inch TV. You can do it with pretty much any size TV. Um, I'll show you here in a second, but you always want to, when you go to cut a mount, you always want to cut with the grain. You don't want to turn the wood sideways and cut this way because it'll weaken the sides and they can snap off. So um, basically what I did is this is the mount I cut. And um, the reason I did this is I want to hang this in the wall in my gym and I want to have a place where I can stick the remote so it's up on the wall so I don't have to hunt for it. So scrap piece of wood. And what I did was if you look at the wood, you can see it's angled angled and cut and the piece that's cut out of here is screwed to the back of the TV. Countersink the holes. Every TV's got four holes on the back of it so you can mount with a regular mount. Um, you know, if you go to the store, you can probably buy a mount for 20 bucks. I had the wood laying around. So now with this mount, the reason why it's cut this way, when it faces the TV, you want it angled at either a 30 degree or a 45 degree angle. So when it's actually going to go in place, it slides down into the groove, okay, and it will lean against that angle. On top of that, this is actually tapered about a quarter inch inward from there to there. So it's, it actually is shaped like this, so it will easily drop right in. So now you imagine this is the wall, so it's going to go right against the wall. I'm going to mount this right to the wall. Very simple. Um, you know, it took me all of maybe five minutes to cut this piece of wood out. I ran a piece of 220 sandpaper around it. I could paint it to match the wall or whatever I want. Stain in the end, so I'm going to go and install it. All right, I'm down here in my gym. Uh, it's not a huge gym, and it's a work in progress. We put the treadmills close to the wall, so that way we can fold them up and have room to walk in the gym. So where I'm putting the TV is pretty much right here. And I got it, got the height set up with the laser. Got it level. Free drill holes at the top because the weight of the TV is going to pull downward and push against the wall. So that's all it really needs. It's just two holes. And I'm just going to just give it a little mark on the wall. Take it down. Let me change my bit. Phillips head in. Now, these are probably one of my favorite wall hangers. They um, they hold 50 pounds each. You'd be amazed what you can hang with these things. So you hook it to the Phillips head. It's got a Phillips head screwdriver bit. And if you want to get a little closer, or. Just basically just Phillips head screwdriver bit right into it, put it up to the wall. It's in nice and flush. They're in. In the container they come with screws. on there. Press my remote and press down.
taking the legs off the TV. All right, there it is. Um, I might try and hide the cord or something like that, but it's a gym, you know, who's really looking at the cord? Uh, so that's it. I get my internet hooked to it and uh, have something to view while walking with my wife. Um, that's it for tonight, and uh, hopefully it's a quick project that you know you can do easily. It's a, literally a quick five-minute project. Uh, like, share, and subscribe because you never know what I'm going to do next.